weren't you just making fun of me for clapping and now you're clapping right before the show? Clapping away. Oh, you can see my little military thing. My little sons. What is up, everybody? Hello, hello. How's it going? Sorry it's so late on a Friday. Craig ditched me earlier today, so I had to go had on to... his schedule and do the show. Yep, I'm sorry. I had a friend that let me borrow his boat just for teasing. two weekends ago, so I had to help him go put it back in the trailer, do all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm sorry we're late. However, better late than never. Here we are. Hey, Bradley. The Cole and Craig show. Having fun. We're at the Craig Friendling Studios today. Yeah, we are. We're not at my studio. Yeah. What's up? Brad's there? What's Kish? Kish? What I call her earlier? A kish -tronaut. <laughs> I like nicknames. All right. Okay. I know what you guys are thinking. Social media is awesome, right? Right? It but can you know be. It can be. Yeah, it can be. It can be. Uh, late night with Nicole and Craig. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, I like funny. it. That's a good show. Maybe we should change the name. We should, and we could interview celebrities. That'd we be could. Fun. It would be That'd fun. That'd be fun. What's up, Maritza? All right. So here's what we're thinking. We're going to talk to you guys about social media, but not... Nicole and Craig show is a very positive show. Yeah. But today we're going, we're going dark. We're going negative. <laughs> we're going five mistakes realtors make on social media. You said yeah. do on social media. I know. I changed it in the live thing. Whatever. Stop pointing out my mistakes. Hello. I thought this was a positive show. Positive show? No, nope. Today Positivity. we're going dark. We already said that. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's right. We're, go we're doing mistakes. We're talking about mistakes <laughs> people make. You shouldn't say realtors. Your realtors don't make mistakes. Realtors. Real estate agents make mistakes. Real estate agents? Nah, realtors do sometimes too. Mm, yeah, I'm sure. They don't mean to. They have good hearts. All right. Do we have any other banter? Because if not, my what looks, it? My hair looks weird. Your hair does look weird. It's got this little alpha fairy well, thing going on. I was, I was, uh, I was down at the, I was down at the lake helping my buddy with the boat, and so I had to come up here, quick change into professional attire. Mm-hmm. And I was in the pool earlier after you know it's so hot. That must be nice. Nah, it's not a great pool. But anyway. I was working all day, so. Well, yeah, that was fine. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm fine with you working yeah. all day. Uh -huh. I was helping my buddy with his boat. I mean, that was that was work. Was it, though? Yeah, I mean, I also did work, too. Forwarded some contracts, did some stuff. Anyway, you guys don't want to hear any of this nonsense. Yeah, probably not. You want to hear the five mistakes that realtors find. <laughs> huh? What is that? <laughs> yeah, you rock. They can't I, even see your fingers I know, when you do that. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Okay. And, okay, so here's where we're at. Number five, just posting your listings or your solds only. Why is that a mistake, Hanson? Sounds like a mistake. Well, I think it just makes... Tell your, me why. It makes your page super boring. And Go ahead. All right, can I talk now? Whenever you're allowed? ready. Am I allowed? Waiting on you. Hey, let's pull the aggressiveness down <laughs> negative today. She told me to bring the energy, so I thought I was doing a good job. Apparently, <laughs> that was I negative that energy. Up. Negative. So anyway, it's just boring. If you only see listeds and solds, like... It's just super boring. You know, I wish that I could be a, what do you call it? A creative writer like Jessica Kish. Like her page makes me laugh like every flipping day. Um, <laughs> right, she Brad? Is, she is the master of this. What do you say? Take your time. Say, take your time. Whatever. Is this pick on Nicole Friday or Why what? Why do you whisper it like that? Whatever. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. You're on social media telling. That's like mistake number three. <clears throat> what? No, no, I'm just not. kidding. That is not a Just posting your listing souls. Here's what she's trying to tell everyone. Oh, is She's it? trying to say, Are you gonna have some personal stuff. Yeah, mansplain <laughs> it to you. Let me manspread for a moment. And man, let me mansplain this to everybody. <laughs> she's talking about girl. She's talking about like, that sounds bad. It does. She's talking about <laughs> not posting other things. You should post some personal stuff every once yeah. in a while. Post some show fun stuff. Show your personality. Stuff. Yeah, show your personality. Show the town you live in. Show, show some fun stuff you're out there doing in public and stuff like that. You know, good stuff. All right, I think we beat that one to death. Yeah. Ready? Oh, yeah, and most agents probably already know that. So they're yeah. like, get on with it, Nicole Number and Craig four. Show. Number four, hiring it out. People figure out easily that... You aren't posting. You aren't posting. Because they see yeah, Riz Media, you know, you're not making your own content. They can just see it's repeated content, and it's boring. So they're not going to follow you. I like do. You. I do. You know what? I have a lot of realtor friends on my, <clears> on my Facebook, and... They're always posting their new listings. They're always posting like what they, or, or the generic ones that say, do you like this kitchen? And then it's like clickbait <laughs> Which stuff. Which kitchen? With, one or yeah, two? Yeah, do you like kitchen one or two? And like, and very rarely do I see people actually like engaging in that material. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Yeah. So, okay, so let's be honest here. Do either of us do five or four? Uh, I do not. And I do not. On my realtor page, I basically just do five. 
on my realtor page. Okay. On my personal page, we post the show. Yeah. Um, but I also post usually just positive things with my children and stuff like that. I only do positive stuff on social media because I think there's too much negativity. Agreed. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, Jennifer Parham. After, After hours. hours. What's up? Oh, big Jeff is watching. Jeff Frizel, everyone. Um, I like Jeff. What's up, so Jeff? So I do do number five, but it's not the only thing I post, so I'm good there. But number four, hire it out. I don't technically hire it out, but I definitely do use a lot of repurposed. I definitely could use, besides the show, I don't do a whole lot of my own stuff except for our listens and soul because we do our own posts for that. So. Yeah. Yeah, and I do, um, yeah, you know, I used to do like the, even the email drips. I don't do as hey, much Flo. of those. I don't do as many of the email drips where it's just a 12 touch, like, look, that's realtor jargon, 12 touch program, yeah. you know, where everyone gets one email every month because I don't know. I don't know if everyone wants that anymore. Jeff Frizel, good shout out to Macaulay. Every holiday I get 800 emails from Macaulay agents. <laughs> that was so mean. Which is funny. No, that's, it's fine. I don't mind it. It's fine. Is it? It goes to my promotions folder. It's okay. <laughs> well, I would say 80% go to there and 20% go to my regular folder. We're going down a rabbit hole. No, no, no. But, but that's the point though. I mean, but it works. You know, look at all those impressions. It's like driving by billboards and stuff like that. Every every time someone sees that, that's an impression. So <laughs> Jeff, laugh out loud. Not from me. <laughs> that's true, Jeff, because I don't think I have seen your name in that list. You know what, Jeff? You could, you could not be. I don't know. I don't, honestly, I just, when I see uh, 800 emails that say spring is here, I just highlight them all and delete all of them. I don't, I don't go after, you know, I don't look into it. It's fine. But I don't mind it. I have social media that's doing the same thing, or it used to, back when I was at a big franchise company. <laughs> I had all those tools. I don't have Anywho. those tools anymore. But I'm still selling houses. So it's all right. Let's get back on track. All right. Nancy. Number three. Let's move on to number Light's three. Light's starting to go right in my eyes. That's it. I'm going to fix my blinds, everyone. Number three, not engaging with other people on social media. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. So I found some research and it basically said you should be time blocking yourself 20 to 30 minutes a day <laughs> to interact with other people, non-Craig friendly, on social media so that you actually... Um, are interacting with other people because if you interact with them, they can see your page and interact with you and see how much you're doing as well. So if it's something in your community, like clicking on a community page, interacting with somebody, you know, the one thing I will say right now with going on, just be careful what you're interacting with. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on right yeah. now. Yeah, maybe stay away from politics, Make religion. sure it's on the positivity yeah. upswing, not anything else political or anything, okay? And Jeff, just to clarify, I did mention Macaulay's name, but you guys are a big company. So there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. There's a lot of agents there. A lot of good agents that I've worked with. So yeah. I appreciate them. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. You done with that one? I was going to say, do you have anything to add? Number three? Nope. Wasn't paying attention. Was fixing my blinds. Okay. Yeah. The sun was right in my eyes. All right. Number but, two then. But yeah, not engaging. Okay. Yeah. Be careful. I see some brokers. I see some agents getting way into mm -hmm. arguments with yeah. uh, politics and stuff like Going that. Going down the rabbit hole. Yeah. It's dangerous. It's it dangerous. Is. You know, because... What's the point? Your your job is to help people complete the American dream. Home ownership. Buy a home. Sell buy their home. home. Buy yep. a new one. Upgrade, yep. downgrade. Help That's them. our job. Yeah. So anyway, so okay, I agree with that. Okay. Number two. Not creating your own content. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. And yeah. I think I think that is important to do. I think I think Kish can attend to this or attest to this. Yeah. Um, I think she does. She doesn't calculate it, like, but I think she tries to do a couple Dude, she's personal like a wordsmith. Posts. She's a wordsmith. Yeah, she, I do enjoy I wish her I posts. Was. Yeah. I wish yeah, I she's was. She's great on social media, for sure. Actually, she, re, she made us change our whole training program because she was getting such great results from her sphere in social media that we changed our whole training program to basically work with one agent, one specific agent who was getting results somewhere you know, am I going to beat her up every day to call more for sale by owners and expireds when she's exceeding her goals just being herself on social media? Okay, that was a lot. Yeah, no, great at social media, just This saying. is why I don't talk in these shows. <laughs> this is why it's the Nicole and Craig show. <laughs> so anyway, creating your own content. You want to make sure that, um, because I actually had a meeting with our marketing uh, part of corporate yesterday, and basically, she's like, look at all the stuff that's repurposed and what you're creating yourself. You're actually in engagements on the stuff you're creating yourself, but not so much so on the stuff that you're repurposing. Well, when you see that in black and white, well, yeah, I mean, that's kind of like, okay, well, 
but then it's like, where am I going to fit time in to do, right? So that's creating your own content. I think a lot of people don't do it because they just don't have time. They know they need to do social media, but they don't know how to do it. Yeah. So I think, again, that just all goes to planning and organization for real. I like it. Yeah. And yeah, Jennifer Parham, we are not trying to go down a rabbit hole. We're just not trying to do it. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's okay. Bad, bad place. <laughs> What's that? She said it's a bad, bad place. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. So not creating your own content. That leaves us, I think we're down to our last one. Oh, yeah. my sister's getting on. Hey, Pam. What up, Pam? Count Pamela, my sister. She's awesome. Lives in Hobart. Shout out to my sister who lives right across the street from County Line Orchard. Just oh, stop at my sister. Feel free to park at her house uh, when you go to eat your cinnamon and your pumpkin again? donuts. What's her address Her address again? is 123 County Line Road. Uh-huh. Yeah, just park in the cornfield maze uh, across the that, street from that's there. That's her driveway. It's fine. Do it's not fine. do that. <laughs> You do not have my permission to do that. Nobody does. <laughs> my sister does not live in the cornfield. I didn't figure she did. Okay. Not taking social media seriously. Are yeah. people not doing that? I think so, because I think there's definitely agents out there who do not... What's up, baby sis? ...do social media, who don't believe in it. I mean, like me, I'm all about Facebook and then hooking everything up to Twitter and Insta because I don't really want to do it. Like, I call it the gram. The gram. Why does everyone call it Insta? It must be an old guy thing to call it the gram. Uh-huh. You yeah. all got that, that, the gram <laughs> on your fancy internet computers? Anyway, I don't do any of that stuff. And basically, it's just because I don't like Instagram. I don't like Facebook stories. And I got told yesterday, basically, that um, I should stop doing that because stories is where it's at. And that's the algorithm with Facebook. So I don't do stories. I think a lot of Facebook especially Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff, now that they're all linked oh, together. Loves us. Oh, that's nice. They, hey, James. They care about us. I don't know that it was James. Someone does. Oh, I, I thought it was because he... Well, on, James but... is watching, but yeah. unless James gave us a care emoji. <laughs> Everyone give us a care emoji that's still watching. How about that? There's eight of them. <laughs> yeah, there's eight. I mean, there's like 25 watching us right now. I don't know how it would be. Uh, well, we just lost one, so... Oops. Oh, <laughs> Oop, two. Yep. All right, so anyway, so yeah, not taking social media seriously. Get back on track, Hanson. It is thinking that it's not going to work or thinking that people don't look at it. Or they don't want to put enough time into it. They don't want to make it part of their marketing plan. And honestly, if you do it, the only thing, like if you do it and you do it easily, I mean, in oh, yourself. We got some care emojis. Look at that. It's only. Um, Thank you. I can't, look at all those. He keeps interrupting me. It's only your time that it costs. So if you do some planning and things ahead of time, because you can schedule all that. You don't have to do it every single day. And I think people think of it more of as a chore instead of a marketing tactic. Well, I think it's cool. Yeah. And I think it's like, you know, I think the best realtors in the business seem to do a lot of sphere of influence marketing. And, and yeah. you know, you build your past clients by selling them houses and, and you stay in touch with them. Those are what the, those are what the professional realtors are doing. Yeah. You know, so I think, I think all that's good stuff. I think it's all good stuff, Hanson. That's it. That's it. That's all we got. I think we're done with the That's show all we got for, the for day. this Friday. Yeah. Sorry it was so late. I'm glad some of you joined and watched. Hopefully, share it, like it. Oh, and the other thing is, um, we've heard from some feedback from some people that the show's getting a little stale. So we're gonna go back to our format of I know. Did we? I did. I did not get that. I feedback. did get that feedback. Um, but we got all these care emojis. Can you schedule stories? I don't know, Jennifer. I've only done it on my phone, and I hate stories, to be honest with you, but I was told yesterday I need to start doing them, so I guess I'm going to look into that more. But um, I don't know where I was going with that. I lost my train of thought now. Crickets. Crickets. Yeah. Are you really not going to say anything to help me out? I was reading the comments. I was hoping Dude. someone was going to post where you were at. <laughs> oh, I know what it was. So we're going to start having a guest once a month. And we're going to schedule it out. So if there's anybody you guys want to hear from in particular or any vendor or something outside of the box where it's not just normal like title, lender, whatever, let us know. And we'll try and schedule some of those people. And we're going to commit through the rest of the year doing once a month so that we have a guest on the show to kind of break things up a little bit. I'm really throwing it out there. So it's well, now we have to follow through. I know. That's the whole point because we've been saying we're going to do it for like over six months and we haven't. <laughs> Well, it was, let's see, you know, to be honest, uh, I did volunteer to take that burden on and, and then... I did not accomplish my goal. So, yes. so I will apologize to Nicole right now. That's, and you, the got a, you got a Craig apology. I apologize to Nicole and the viewers, all of 
Dude, I apologize to all of you out that's there. That's on video. Yeah. Yes. Hey, I, if I, when I'm wrong, I'll admit it. Uh huh. Yeah. I just don't admit it all the time because I'd be, I'd be just admitting my mistakes all the time. He apologizes like 500 yeah. times a day. I'm like, it's I've fine. got 800 apologies to get out, so I hope you guys can buckle up. <laughs> Let me get my handwritten thank you. No, anyway. So anyway, all right. I guess I think that's about it for the day. Yeah. Super C's on. Hey, Colleen. I will not see you guys next week. Craig is going to have a guest host. I will be on vacation. Um, so... Well, the show might not he says next he week. is. No, I'm no, just kidding. Oh, yeah, I'll, do, do, I'll do the show. I, I have a person for next week. I have okay, a person. Good. Yeah. Okay, super secret guest star for next week. Um, so I will see you guys in two weeks. Is that it? All right, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, everything else is great. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> Christmas in Happy July. Hanukkah. Okay, bye. Yeah.